So we get asked a lot, how do you identify the maple trees? Here today, we're just gonna do a quick one on identifying maple trees and the way that we do it. Um, we'll go out in the woods, we'll get some leaves, we'll look at some bark. Um, we can't really look at the buds today because we're still in early fall, so the trees haven't started budding yet, but that's the third way we can identify them. But this way, it's time now, go look at your maple trees, figure out what you want, because you don't wanna do it in January when you've got a foot of snow on the ground and you gotta wear snowshoes. So we check in the fall, find our trees, get our woods set up. It's cooler, you don't have to work as hard and you don't have to sweat, that's for sure. Let's go check them out. So now we tap a variety of maple tree species, um, red maples, sugar maples, as well as silver maples. Um, predominantly, is the further you get away from the coast, you get more sugar maples, it's just the climate changes. Closer to the coast, the swampier areas is where you get your red maples. The easiest way to tell what tree you're dealing with is by the leaves. Now, if you're in the winter time, you obviously, you can't see the leaves. So then you're gonna go and you're gonna look at the bark. And the way to look at the bark is, this is a sugar maple tree in our woods. And it's got a nice hard crust bark on it, um, very silvery, um, it doesn't flake off at all. Now, if we go to the next tree up the line, this is a red maple. Now, red maples have a, a darker brown bark. It's flakier, it'll, it'll flake off when, when you flip at it. Um, the sugar maples are definitely the better tree. They're the primary tree we want to tap as they give sweeter sap and they don't require as much vacuum to give up the sap. So you could be somewhere around two and a half to 4% on a good sugar maple tree. Red maples run somewhere around three quarters of a percent to if you get to a percent and a half, you're doing real good. And if you get a 2% red maple, that's about the sweetest tree you're going to get on a red. Now red maples don't give up sap easy. So if you put them on buckets, they don't do very well. You're really gonna wanna put those on vacuum, then you'll get the performance, but you're gonna have a lower sugar content. They make great syrup, just you've gotta work a lot harder for it. Now as you come in, we're gonna go through our, our woods. We've got another sugar maple here. This one's got the harder bark on it. If we look up, we can tell by the leaves. Then we get to the older sugar maples. Now these are your big mature trees, um, probably 120 years old-ish. Now the bark on these also looks kind of flaky, but it's got that silver look to it and it's a lot harder bark. These are the ones, big full crowns across the top of them covering um, the majority of the tree. Those are the ones, that tree right there, it's probably close to three and a half, four percent sugar on a good year, whereas a big red maple like that would still be struggling to get to, if it got to 2%, you're hitting a home run with that tree. Now, the other way we can tell is we're gonna look at our leaves. And this is the easiest way to tell the trees when we're out in the woods. So here we've got our leaves. Now this one, see how it's got the nice smooth edges, the five lobes, one, two, three, four, five and it sweeps in, no sharp, jagged teeth. That's gonna be your sugar maple leaf. The next one has really just three lobes, but it's got that sawtooth-like edges to it. That's gonna be your red maple leaf. And then silvers, there's a few around, but not many. They've kind of got the five lobes like a sugar maple, but they've got deeper valleys coming in, unlike the red maple. But they've got the sawtooth look to them. That's gonna be your silver maple look. So, summertime, if you get the chance to go out, you're gonna go out, you're gonna look at the leaves, the easiest way to tell a tree. Other than that, come wintertime, we're checking the bark. We can also look at the buds. Now, we're still in the fall yet, the leaves are still on the trees, so we can't look at buds, but a sugar maple bud is gonna have a, it's gonna be real narrow and pointy at the top. That's a sugar maple. Now, your red maples are gonna be short, blunt buds. Those are gonna be your red maples that we're gonna be looking for. So there's three ways to tell what trees we're looking at. They all make great syrup. It's just how hard you have to work for it. Now, when we're trying to make syrup, we wanna do it the easiest way we can. And most of the time that's gonna be with a sugar maple without vacuum. Now, if we put vacuum on it, we more than double our production. Then we're really into the sap and we can make a lot of syrup in a short hurry come that time of year. 
if you've got the trees, you might as well put them on vacuum and get the most out of them you can. Buckets are fun, they just take time. Trees are immature, it's a little bit harder to tell the bark. So right now we're gonna look at, this is a sugar maple tree. And that one, it still has the silvery, but the bark is very smooth. Um, you can't really tell on that one. Now we come over, this is a red maple tree. So that's gonna be pretty smooth still. There's not a lot you can tell. It's a little bit darker than that red maple, but you still really can't tell when they're that young. At that point, you gotta look at leaves and buds. Probably leaves would be the easiest one just because the trees are young. They've got a ton of energy. They're really growing fast. So that's where you can really identify those trees. Save the ones in your woods that you wanna, you wanna keep. You wanna grow those as a crop tree, granted, You've only got 40 years-ish until you can put your first half in it. But if you don't start doing it now, then the next generation can't get them. So be careful what ones you're cutting down. Your teenager trees, call them your um, middle-aged trees, getting close to being ready to tap, not quite. Um, this one is a red maple here. Very smooth bark, um, doesn't have the flakiness to it. Kind of a dull tan, um, doesn't really carry that, that silver color like a teenager or adolescent sugar maple will. Now, silver maple, this one's a little bit older, um, starting to get the, the flakiness coming into it. Uh, silver maples and red maples, the bark looks very similar, um, and they're about the same with sweetness. If you really had to rate it, a, it'd be the sugar maple would be the sweetest, then a silver, then a red. But like any sugar maker, you, you tap them all because that's where you, it, it, more sap's better than no sap.